Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm here with our fifth and sixth judge. No, wrong. I am the fifth. You are the fifth. <laughs> and he is the sixth. Actually, it's the fourth and fifth. Hmm. Okay. It's complicated with the numbers. But I'm here with Emilio and Alessandro. Okay. guys for sending all the stories did you enjoy reading them guys yes oh yeah yeah Very anything you liked in particular yeah uh, there is a story that I really enjoyed okay uh, hold that thought fair enough <laughs> <laughs> I just enjoyed them all really okay same actually we just find out that you know, we choose the same winner okay that's yeah. interesting yeah. because do you know so far we've got tight so we had three judges casting a vote Gosha, Paulina and Andrew and they all chose a different story okay. okay I see okay okay at the end of this video we'll actually find out who's the running winner oh okay good nice face up guys did you see face up oh no. young and old you oh. yourself <laughs> oh no thank you no 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 <laughs> after I show you myself very old Why? it's unbelievable you look like your father oh yes okay. Okay. i look like the milkman but the milkman it's okay. <laughs> good not the postman the po by the way in uk it's usually the milkman in the rest of europe really? it's the postman yeah. so guys you know at our birthday party which was uh, quite legendary i would say would you oh agree? yes 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 one of the best <laughs> night in my life. Oh wow. Oh yes. Thank you, Emilio. Yeah, yeah. One of the main features at the party was the stories that our guests told about jewelry pieces that they picked. So we just ask you now, do you remember your story guys? Yeah. Uh, what we did was an interesting experiment. <laughs> um, yeah. Which I would like to underline that it's completely Emilio's fault. <laughs> Why is that? Uh, because he dragged me into it uh, against my will and my better judgment. But since I had a few in me, I decided to go along with it. Uh, the experiment was that he would tell the story in Italian, mm -hmm. bit by bit, and I would slowly translate it. Uh -huh. In uh, English, of course. Mm -hmm. I think it worked uh, well, well, yeah. Yeah, it did, but it's still, it's fault. Okay. It's fault. <laughs> Sorry, if I interrupt you, but the point is that it's not just kind of a translation, but no. because you're a great, huge actor. So the point is that I wanted to show off your art. Oh. This is in English is called buttering someone up. <laughs> <laughs> this is what that, that's what it's called. Uh, and why would he do that? Well, let's have a quick look at the recording from the party and we'll come mm. back to it. Mm. Me and a friend of mine were quite famish. E ci fermavo in un bar a mangiare qualcosa per cercare di mangiare qualcosa. And we stopped in a bar just to eat a little something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. E ci eravamo. What did you eat? Uh, what did you eat? Oh, yeah. Pizza and pasta. <laughs> Pizza and pasta. Pizza in Romania. <laughs> anyway. Niente, noi io e il mio amico cominciamo a guardare questa donna so, meravigliosa. Me and my friends start to look at this beautiful woman. Of course. Maybe of course. course. Okay, so so tell us Emilio, was it a real story? Because we really enjoyed it. I mean we not only the story by your performance, it was <laughs> really entertaining. Anyway, uh allora io parlo in italiano adesso. Vabbè, so he's gonna speak in English from now on and I'll have to translate. In tavolo vicino al nostro c'era and in a table beside ours there was a beautiful woman. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Beautiful. We <laughs> beautiful. Like properly, yeah, because we, we could have some Italian viewers and they'll be like, uh oh. <laughs> Fast forward. <laughs> Act more. Like just like this. Okay. Act more. Come si dice gesticolare in inglese? Non si dice. Ah, ah, sì. Sì. Use more your hands. And 
dai una mattina in camera sua e mi dai proprio in camera sua e dissi senti se volevi solo una notte di sesso non dicevi So I went to her room and they simply told to her look if you just want it one night stand you just have to tell me and okay, Is there such a word in Italian? No, no One night stand? It doesn't exist In Italian we say scopare la notte Just sex Actually I found out after two, two years that one night stand mean that was <laughs> <laughs> What did you think before? <laughs> that they were all standing for one night <laughs> They were staying for Let's, one night <laughs> <like this. laughs> Perché lui è il capo mafia di tutta questa zona First he killed me, then he killed the man Cioè che cazzo vuol dire? Che stavo a farmi maggio? Bravo, bravo. you are an actor, bravo Look, she's laughing, so you want So I can't see you anymore, but I'll leave you something to remember me by Amazing, I think this piece suits you really well, she chose it well Yeah. But the real question is, who thinks Emilio's story is real? Apparently it is, because he told me in a private site that it's actually a real story, which I find hard to believe. <laughs> Probably 1% of it, 10% of it, it's real. And, mm. That's how all good stories start. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Because you see, that's what Gandalf would say, any good story needs embellishment. So... <laughs> <laughs> I've heard an interesting English phrase on the movie. Have you watched The Crown? Yeah. yeah. They say something like, Let him sow his wild oats. Do you know what that means? I have no idea. Basically, have let fun, sleep me. over with no. girls. <laughs> no, close, close. Let's Something to do with sex. Ah, okay. Oat let's milk. Let's remember that one. I don't know. It's when I'll use it. Yeah. <laughs> you were also curious about this uh, brooch because exactly. we discovered, to my father, that is an expert of the First World War, that this brooch was actually used by the bicycle um, corp. Uh, sending messages to the trenches during the First World War. One last thing I wanted to say before we get to the point of the story, mm -hmm. the reason why we met today. Mm -hmm. um, you both such a wonderful artist, creative people. Mm -hmm. I wondered if you could tell a bit more about what you do at the moment, anything, any projects you're working on. I'm a professional actor. We are working here! We are working here! Oh. And recently I shot a few commercials, documentary and a docudrama. Mm -hmm. The docudrama will be an American channel called mm -hmm. Crime. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be called The Secret Killer and I am in the first episode. Yeah. I can say that I will be playing a serial killer well, and a documentary where I play John Belushi, but I'm not allowed to really? say that is, yes. Yeah, but you want to act more. Tana la miseria. Ma non vuol dire niente, you are an actor! <laughs> Emilia, you mentioned you work in some video project. Oh Are yes, no, no, things? actually yes, so finally I, I, I just finished the, the audio of uh, my show called Catharsis that mm -hmm. you were there. Yes, we saw that, that's pretty amazing. And then I'm working for a different agency in Europe and some in New York uh, for doing some trailers and I'm doing some new uh, short movies uh, in general oh. so a, a feature busy. film yeah let's get back to the stories mm -hmm. now I know you've been itching to tell me so which is your favorite story guys which is the same okay yeah. we by coincidence we uh, discovered that we like the same story Which is for the same reason. But you didn't collude. No, no we didn't. No, no, no. We just found out. Uh, the story that we both liked is the story of Barbara. Wow, amazing, Barbara. Congratulations, mm. that's the third vote. Oh, really? Oh, so. Okay. I mean, one, two, and, and third. one before. Okay. Yeah. But Paulina chosen this story oh, really? as her favorite. Yeah, my cousin. Fantastic. Mm. We liked it because it's nice to have a uh, history inside the story. <clears throat> the story and also, itself, yeah. I, I, I think that with these jobs you are doing something very important in my opinion because if this kind of bastard thieves you know, mm. uh, interrupt legacy and very important things for, for some I mean sometimes the, the things are not so important but in that case I, I think it's very important that you know you have the same jewel of your grand grandma mm. it's kind of you know not the the, the object in, in, in itself just it's yeah, yeah, the, it's the just value a sentimental value yeah. really and you with your uh, jewels you are going to do again and start again 
this kind of uh, story, yeah. action. Yeah. This is, in my opinion, very important. Oh, is it is, is it very important in your opinion? Because it's not clear. You just said it five times. <laughs> <laughs> is, it clear? is it very important? You see why I agree with you, guy. You see? To keep you on your toes. Of course, of course. But I appreciate it, and I think what Barbara have done mm. that instead of just being angry, of course, I'm sure there was a period when she was just pure angry and disappointed. She just decided to do something about it and create new legacy. Exactly. And the way she told us the story, I yep. think that's. Yeah, describes it perfectly. Yeah, it does. Well, thank you guys, that's really good. Congratulations, Bob. Looks like you're a strong winner. <laughs> I think so, I think so. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting us. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks. See you soon. Bye-bye. Ciao. Bye-bye. So guys, this is an unexpected turn of events. After today's episode, we have a very strong running winner. Congratulations, Barbara, you've got three points. Let's have a quick look at our Facebook poll and let's see which story did you enjoy the most. Oh, wow, did you see that? Ashton has over 49 votes. Well done, Ashton's friends <laughs> and everyone else, of course. So that means We've got strong second place with two points, Ashton, congrats. Let's have a look at the summary. We've got three points for Barbara. Then on the second place, we've got Ashton. And the third place is Jacqueline with one point from Gosha. Thank you. But remember, the Facebook poll is still live. And of course, everything could change next week. Next final episode, we have Johanna and Jovita telling us which were their favorite stories. Let's see what happens. Or oh, will the public change their mind? Will they vote Ashton out? Mm. See you next time. Bye. You need to do also the backstage at the end of all of <laughs> Yes. You mean just giving the drinks and you know, directing <laughs> to the right room? Yes. <laughs> Questa la tagliate, we cut the last comment. Oh no, no, that's the, the most <laughs> important one. <laughs> <laughs>